hey viewers it's bashni manohar here the subject is english literature for the class 9th the topic is poem and today the name of the poem is the lake isle of industry it was written by william butler eat and the poet shown in the picture he was william butler eat he was an irish poet and one of the foremost fighters of 20th century literature he is a pillar of irish literary establishment in 1923 he was awarded nobel prize in literature for his always inspiring poetry he was born on 13th june 1865 and died on 28th january 1939 the other poems written by this poet was the second coming sailing to byzantium the stolen child a prayer for my daughter adam's curse etc so the introduction of the poem the lake isle of industry The poem explores the speaker's longing for the peace and tranquility of his boyhood haunt in his free. It describes the isle as speakers much long for pe- place of peace, natural beauty, and place where the speaker feel most grounded. There he would live with loud sound of beehives and live along in peace. This is declared by the poet again and again in the poem. He is longing for the peace. He have to go to a place that's in his free. And uh, the first stanza of the poem. I will arise and go now and go to Enistry and a small cabin built there of clay and wattlem made nine bean rows will I have there a hive for the honey bee and live alone in the bee loud glade I here refers to the poet William Butler Eat he says that he wants to go to Enistry over there he will build a small room for himself with clay and sticks which are used to walk or fences of cabin as he will need some food to eat he will grow nine do- beans in his room he will get honey from the hives of honey bee in his room he could live alone happily hearing the loud bustling sounds of waves second stanza and i shall have some peace there for peace comes dropping slow dropping from the wheels of the morning to where the cricket songs that midnight's all a glimmer and moon purple glow and evening full of the liner's wings in inner free he will be peaceful with the peace of mind the feeling of peace is felt gently calmly and gradually in morning time when it is cloudy and view is not clear it will appear as morning had on wheel and hidden itself further the song of insect cricket will bring him peace at midnight twinkling stars shining in the dark sky will bring him peace in afternoon the sunlight will give a purple glow that will also bring him peace during evening when she'll see the linnet bird flying in sky he'll feel peaceful third stanza i will arise and go now for always night and day i hear the lake water lapping with low sound by the shoreline while i stand on the doorway or on the parameters gray i hear it in the deep heart score in this stanza the poet says that now he will stand up and go to industry because all the time when he is in work or free the sound of the lake striking the shoreline repeats in his mind he couldn't come out of there even though he is living in city with crowded roads and people around him he is drawn to sounds of industry he is there in his heart the poet is attracted to the sound made by the rustling trees of course he has a desire to keep himself aloof alone and forlorn from bustling sound of buses for some time he wants peace and uh, the poem conveys a message that uh, the poet wants tranquility of life he wants peace in fact uh, living in a cottage is quite different from fast and hectic life we can enjoy nature when there is a peace of mind the real peace is not found in money luxurious life cars or comfort it is found only in the place of solitude the poet declares this in his poem thank you